Suppose you have two capillary tubes of same radius and in the first case the liquid has, has rise to, to a height h, h and in the second case the same condition remains the same but what if we reduce the height of the tube because we have this much height for the tube now only this much say h dash. So what we want to know is whether the liquid overflow from this tube or the meniscus of the liquid change. For that, let's take the equation. We have the ascent h is equal to 2 sigma cos theta divided by r rho g. We already have derived this formula. If you, if you don't know how to derive this, let's go back and check the other video about the derivation of liquid rise in a capillary tube and we also discussed that this r equal to which means the radius of the tube is is related to the radius of the sphere by the formula r cos theta where r is the r is the uh, radius of the meniscus form or radius of the sphere in here r so if you substitute in here in the equation 1 this value we have h is equal to 2 sigma cos theta divided by r cos theta rho g so that you can cancel this cos theta and cos theta so if you take the h to the left h times r equal to 2 sigma divided by rho g so h times r equal to 2 sigma by r rho g from the equation, it is clear that 2 is constant, surface tension as far as the liquid remains the same, surface tension remains the constant. Also, if you take the same liquid, the density also remains constant, gravity is always constant, which means H times R equal to A constant. Clear. So, here if the radius is R, let's say if the radius form is some r dash r dash so we have h r is equal to h dash r dash so r dash will be h r by h dash which means the liquid doesn't overflow but it will change the curvature and the liquid doesn't overflow from this capillary tube clear